Well, the ranking of the 50 most powerful women by Fortune magazine is out. The list include such stalwarts as uh, General Motors' Mary Bearer and uh, PepsiCo's Indra Nooyi. But it also, uh, it also seven newcomers that I included are the first foreign-born Latina CEO on the Fortune 500, Geisha Williams, uh, viewers Maria Madialo has more. This month's Fortune magazine cover features Indra Nui, who occupies the number two slot on this year's 50 Most Powerful Women. The 61-year-old is the chairman and CEO of PepsiCo, one of the world's leading food and beverage companies with over $63 billion in net revenue. At the 19th annual gathering in Washington, Nui says her company had to adapt to new trends in a changing retail environment. For companies like ours that are impulse-driven, which need for you to see a product or want the product, we have to create impulse in different ways. Uh -huh. So we're looking at this range of changes happening in the marketplace and saying, this is probably going to be the most exciting time to be the CEO of a food and beverage company or the most frightening time. Nui has made the list many times and so has General Motors' Mary Barra, who for the third consecutive year has occupied the number one spot. Newcomer and number 13 on this year's list runs California's largest utility company. Born in Cuba, Geisha Williams is the first foreign-born Latina CEO on the Fortune 500. I feel incredibly honored and really humbled that my story is resonating with so many people that are foreign-born, that are immigrants, like me, where English is their second language. And my message to them is, anything's possible in this country. Number 40 is a senior VP at IBM who's leading a recently formed division developing new technologies such as blockchain. As an example, food safety on a blockchain, it takes two seconds to identify and track a food safety incident. The best in class companies today, it takes them six days and 18 hours. Imagine how much sickness and waste would be lessened by a two-second timeline versus a six-day one. From computers to a utility company to car manufacturers and retailers, the list is made of executives across industries. We're evaluating um, their company's revenue or their division's revenue, um, market cap, and, uh, and the shifts in those numbers from year to year. And so it's not only who's on the list, but how are we ranking them. Um, but we also want to evaluate them for their influence, and that's something that's a little bit harder to measure. While the list so its first Latina entry, Home Depot's Anne Mary Campbell is its only African-American. Michal Levram says Fortune has written about the so-called black ceiling. What we've uh, just seen in talking to, to women of color in leadership positions is that um, we need to do a better job of having more and more women in the pipeline. She adds this will give them the opportunity to rise through the ranks. Maria Madialo, VOA News, Washington.